All right. Welcome to another stream. Gonna finish up the main game of Parasite Eve today. Um, I actually... I was planning on leveling up to 99 and getting the super weapon from uh, all the tools, but um, I well I kind of failed a little bit on that. Um, like I did get past the level 38 barrier, so um, once you get past that, you start leveling up like every two battles in the museum. Um, I did pass that and I got up to level 50, um, but more importantly, I got enough tools or enough junk parts for the super weapon um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right away so we're gonna take a few minutes to uh, put together an, a nice weapon here and then we're gonna head to the end of day five and then into day six And I remembered to turn on my microphone today instead of last time where it was like a minute 15 into of the video and I'm like, oh crap. Alright, so let's come down here and talk to Wayne. I like it when you have a lot of junk parts, it just goes really fast like that. Okay, so... Last time I went with a handgun. I think I'm going to do that again. I was thinking about doing a rifle. Um, I don't. I think the rifle doesn't have as many slots on it, though. For, you know, effects and stuff, so... Um, I'll, I'll go with a handgun again. You can do this leave it to Wayne thing, but that's risky because um, it can either turn out super great or it can turn out super bad. And uh, yeah, I'm not willing to risk it. But yeah, we'll just go with a handgun. That worked out really well last time. Yeah, look at that. 125 attack. That's insane. Okay, so now... Okay, I have to... I have to pull some weapons out of storage here. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and equip that. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Even though I've been upgrading this gun, you know, for the past four hours or what, or, you know, for however long, it's still, like, way behind on power. Okay, so we got that. Okay. Oh, it sucks. I can't see any of the effects on these. Um, damn it. I'm going to have to look at the guide to do this. Well, first things first, we need... Let's see, we need... Okay, I think I can add one more slot to that. So let's pull some items out. Uh, 
Actually, why don't I use my mod permit that I've had since, like, day two? No, not discard. That would be bad. Okay, I know I'm gonna need the super tool. Um, let's just... We'll pull out, like... I don't know. We'll just pull like five tools. We can always put them back. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hold on. There. That's more gooder. Okay. So now we got that and um... Oh wait. Oh, I know what I'm doing here. Tune up weapon. Mod permit, that's what I want. Yeah, with this weapon, I've never actually got it through the first playthrough. Um, I always wait till EX game, well, the one time I did, I should say. But yeah, with this weapon, we should just annihilate the final boss. Um, okay, I want to see if I can, I don't think I can, but let's see if we can add one more slot. No, okay. Alright, so... Want this one, and then we're gonna pull. We want to pull all these stats off of here, and we will use the super tool. And now we're doing 165 damage. And now I want to pull this burst effect off of there. Excellent. Hey, Sega CD Universe. How's it going? Um... Uh, throw cheese. It's gotta be two words, right? Okay, so I know I want the M8000 because it's got the command times two. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, and then I... The rat eats the cheese. Sweet. I gained 10 experience. Okay, I don't know if it's going to help for this final boss fight, but I want to pull Tranquilizer and like acid shots off of a gun and unfortunately I can't see it from this uh, inventory list I have to look through the guide um, hold on okay M203 M203-4, right? No. There we go. Okay, so that's acid rounds, and then I want tranquilizer. M79. Okay, I think we'll just pull these effects off and then we should be good. 
I could go through and like go through all the weapons and pull like all the all the effects off and like all the stats off, but that would take too long. Okay, yeah, and I'm not really going to worry about defensive stuff right now. I think we're in good shape. That should be good. And then I have a few bonus points. Uh, since we're not upgrading this, we'll just uh, throw bonus points into these. There. Look at that, a handgun with 37 ammo. Okay, now I need to switch this back on. Oh, you know what? I should do one more thing just in case. Ah. Yeah, I have enough revives. I should pull one just in case I need it. Let's do two. Because I can always get more. Okay, that's good enough. I think we're ready to go, so let's head back to the museum and uh, finish up the last event there. Mm, my cat's snoring behind me. And let's head to the museum with the chocobo in front. Just want to check something real quick. Looks like we're in good shape. Okay, so I wanted to go up to the fourth floor. Unfortunately, I can't get through there because Eve's got that door sealed off, so I have to take the long way around. Okay, so we have to go to floor two. Uh, walk west and then up a screen or two. And then we can take the stairs up to the third floor, go south, take the stairs, and get up into that room. Damn it, I should have saved in the lobby. Or 
work. I better do it, just in case. I don't want to die and then, you know, have to go through all that weapon customization again. Yeah, man, it was such a grind getting past level 38. And I actually thought that I had to get up to level 39 and then I'd be able to like level up quickly, but it was only only 38. But still, it was like 200,000 experience and um at the most the monsters in here grant like 4,000 experience, so it takes quite a bit of time. save to a new file just in case I don't like this weapon for some reason I can go back and make a different one. Yeah but it was worth it because I got like crazy bonus points when I um, leveled up to 39. What the hell? Did I break the elevator? And the one drawback about the leveling up trick is um, one, once you get past 38, you level up every two battles, so um, you don't have an opportunity to gain a whole lot of bonus points. Tell you one thing though, I'm going to be really happy to say goodbye to this museum because I've been it for far too long these past two days. There's our stair uh, staircase. This is where we fought the Triceratops last time. points uh, yeah we'll put it into defense or parasite energy I like that better oh there's a door here Hello. Gonna be really hard to fight with a boner, huh? <laughs> uh, I see what you're doing, Squaresoft. Yeah, 10 out of 10, wood motorboat again. Have to make sure the last three female viewers, you know, unsub the channel.
That was a really cool effect with the motion blur there. Oh yeah, this can't be good. Alright, so we're gonna have a, a death match between that thing and the uh, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Hey, completionist! And Michael Lewis, how's it going? <laughs> uh, yeah, he might. Yeah, I heard the Japanese version had the uh, the nips in there. I'd like to get that one, you know, for, for research purposes. <laughs> Actually, I haven't spent any money on video games outside of Dragon Quest XI lately. Kind of a bummer, because I, I really want to upgrade my, my shmup collection for the Saturn, um, but can't right now. I was thinking about ordering something, and I'm like, oh, wait, 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 Christmas is coming up. I, I better not do that. That's okay though, I got plenty to tide me over. Oh, uh, have you played the City NT? What did you think about it? I heard a lot of people complaining that it was uh, more online focused. Hey, wait a minute, I just thought of something. Derek, you popped in on the Xenogears finale right when there was naked people. Uh, I'm beginning to see a pattern here. Oh, okay. Did you play the PSP one? Like, how does it compare to that if you've played it? <laughs> oh, that sucks, man. Oh, okay. I 
I played the, the first PSP one. I don't remember if it had a steep learning curve. I remember it being a lot of fun. Um, you know, it had its challenge, challenging moments, but... Um, yeah, I don't remember it having a steep learning curve. Although the final boss of that game was freaking insane. I had a lot of game overs on that one. Oh, you got your three months off again? You gonna be doing another, um... Uh, top five YouTubers under 1,000 subs or whatever you call it. Oh, those are much better. Yeah, I never played the uh, du Duodecim 012 or whatever the hell it's called. But I really like the first game. My only complaint with it was that there were no Final Fantasy Tactics characters. Sweet. Yeah, it's got to suck being gone that long, but it, I bet it's great to be home for, you know, that long. You don't want to be popular? You mean you're not going to start making goofy looking thumbnails with, you know, giant arrows everywhere? An impact font? Oh, and you got to put Switch in the title somewhere too. <laughs> yes, definitely. I would much rather, you know, be stuck at like 1,350 subs than be a tool myself. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Okay. Um, who? That's a good question. Um, I think I did, but I think I was using a guide for it. 
Actually, no, that was before I had an internet. I might have had like a, a walkthrough in a magazine though. Okay, well, I will have to check out Duodecim one of these days. I imagine I'd be pretty pissed off if, if I didn't have that guide and, you know... I died after beating the final boss. I'm not sure how I feel about that bit, like, I kind of like the fact that you can die afterwards, but then again, it's kind of a dick move. Yeah. Put your crappy shit away. Your stupid luck, good luck charms that I can't drop out of my inventory. Oh, that's an excellent one. Should be easy to complete too, it's a really easy game. <laughs> yeah, I remember your Breath of Fire 3 post. Those did not sound like fun. Oh yeah, and Derek, I don't know if you were here for the very beginning of the stream, but I did not get up to level 99. I just got up to level 50, um, but I did get the, the tool, or the junk weapon. Actually, the game I'm playing right now for uh, November's review is has crazy drop rates. I was told when I was given the game to not even bother trying to get everything because it it's not that it's impossible, but it just takes way too long and it's not worth it. Well, the game is great otherwise, it's just the, uh, the completionist aspect of it is not fun. Yeah, same here, although, um... 
we just, you know, sat at my house, drank, and played PS1 games, so... So I had, you know, I had, you know, the same thing there, kind of. Except I didn't go out drinking. Alright, Jugs, it's time to die. Oh, excellent. Yes, why would I not save? What kind of stupid question is that? No, I don't want to save. I want to die and watch all those scenes over again. Because I'm not very smart. Oi. <laughs> yeah, I always love the pre-rendered backgrounds and like the Squaresoft games and stuff. I believe Resident Evil had them too, but I was not really a fan of those games. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, I like him, except um, in the beginning of this game there is some like really, really touchy trigger points. Yeah, I, I really like the, the 3D graphics and like backgrounds and everything too. Even though a lot of people say they haven't aged well, they don't really bother me. Uh-oh, there's that music. Looks like she's got a curly fry for a tail. Ah, damn it. Did that do no damage to me? Oh yeah, look at that beautiful, glorious damage.
Yeah, I don't think I'll even need the rocket launcher. Yeah, same here. My favorite too. Evolution? You mean like WWE? <laughs> oh, is that what I have left? need to get that status off. Oh, she's about to do something. Again. Oh yeah, I could have probably just liberated her. I love that cutscene. There, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, it's a kick-ass song. I really like this song a lot, too.
<laughs> yeah, that walk cycle. Well, all the characters really, they have that that kind of Scooby-Doo walk cycle where like they walk but they don't like they don't walk as far as they should based on their leg movement. I don't know, it's hard to describe. Uh yeah, I'm pretty sure he hit me with it. Well, that's great. You're just the guy I wanted to talk to, Wayne. Damn right I'm the number one cop. All that. We'll swap out these medicine threes for uh, fours. Actually, don't have that many. Whoops. Ah, no. Actually, I don't need that. Ugh. Stupid analog. Quit bouncing back. Okay, yeah, that should be good. Ooh, I get to name a piece of weapon and an armor. Uh, any suggestions, guys? Um, I don't think make sure you save before you leave that area would work as a name for a gun. But yes, I will save. Slaya? Oh, how many letters? Um... Okay, well the gun is taken, so uh... But I can still do armor. Uh, backspace. Looks like eight. I like that one. Um, I'm gonna see if Chris comes up with something though. Unless he wants to go with my boobs. Okay. My boobs it is. Whoops. So Diabria will put on my boobs. OK, 
kick ass. There it is. <laughs> definitely. That is definitely a great name. And honestly, I probably would have thought of something similar. Okay, you don't have any revives? Uh, yeah, I don't need any of that stuff. Oh yeah, I think you mentioned that in the video. Do a new file just in case. That's something I miss about like the PlayStation One days is you could name stuff like characters and stuff, goofy shit. Um, and you know, since there's no voiceovers in most of those games, like it doesn't affect the dialogue at all. You love stupid. Hey, yo, stupid, heal up. Okay. <laughs> my my penis broke. Oh my god. We <laughs> one time when I was like 21, me and some buddies were sitting around and we're like we th we thought it'd be funny like what if we named a dog my penis and we're like I got to take my penis to the park. And then we just come up with, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff that, you know, dogs would do, but we just substitute it with my penis. <laughs> like, my penis has big black spots on it. Well, it wasn't a real dog, it was a hypothetical dog. What are these explosions? Uh, that's it. It is close by, and he's uh, sending uh, blasts everywhere or something. Ah, uh, yeah, I've never played any of those Dragon Guard games.
<laughs> it's not the voodoo stuff. Alright, here we go. Ultimate being. Oh, they're like... Dynasty warriors, like poor man's dynasty warriors, I guess. Yeah, I should probably throw on haste. Oh, you got me that time. Oh yeah, two targets. Oh! Damn it. Yeah. Well, I got the uh, the weapon for turning in 300 junk parts, which has like a base damage value of like 125, I think. And then I carried over all my upgrades from my pre previous gun, so it does like, I don't know, like 165 damage or something ridiculous. It's actually stronger than the rocket launcher right now. That's not cool. I've actually beaten this legitimately, but I wanted to fuck around and, you know, get the best weapon in the game. Let's try Liberate. This is gonna do sick damage. <laughs> 3,500, not bad. No. Oh. I think I got it. Yeah, and I was going to level up to 99. I'm only like 51 right now.
Okay, so there's one more form. Oh yeah, I hate this one. Ugh. This one is really annoying. Yeah. He'll be coming soon enough. Cool cutscene coming up here. This cutscene is kind of ridiculous, but really cool at the same time. Like, what if she missed and it clonked her in the head and knocked her out? Yeah, we got this now. I'm not even taking any damage. Okay, now we have to be really, really careful. Because if this thing touches us, it's game over. Yeah, it is really a lot easier. Should I risk it and save my game? I don't think so. <laughs> I need to pay attention. I was looking down at the chat for a minute and that could have been really bad right there. some really tense music here. Oh, okay. I never tried it.
Uh oh. Run! We're in Hell's Kitchen. Isn't that that show with Gordon Ramsay? Oh. Shit. I ran the wrong way. Damn it. Oh my god. Okay, well, it looks like we have to do that all over again. That's okay, though. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> you too. Well, now we've seen me die on that part. I wasn't sure if I did before. HMG is here. How's it going, man? That reminds me, I gotta catch up on a couple of your reviews. I know you posted one for Halloween not too long ago. Well, yeah, you just, uh, you just missed me dying stupidly. Come on. I wish I could skip this text since we've seen it before. Come on, man, just let her take the bullets. Uh, no, I have to watch that one too. I think the last one I watched was Super Mario Brothers. Although I think the front mission one might have been before that. Goo goo. Oh, look at the baby. Oh, okay, it was. Yeah, I need to watch that one, too. It's time to die, baby. Whoa. That was not cool, man.
Okay, come on. Let's get through this. I want to get to that end part again so I can do it the right way. I don't think I'm even going to bother hasting myself this time. Oh shit. Back here. Yeah, they're barely doing any damage to me here. your being metal gear okay I'm about to liberate this fool dead? Not quite. Or is he? Okay. No, I just, I just thought of a nitpick here. See how that monster is in between Aya and the door? Now in the next part, the monster's on the opposite side. How did that happen? Oh wait, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, but it looks like I'm going to be right, though, because that monster was in between her and the door again. Okay, let's see the Flaming Daniel again. Okay, I have another nitpick. How come he has hair in the final cutscene? I know, I'm being ridiculous now. But that should have burned his hair right off. Yep, 
And that's it. And again, the monster is in between her and the door. But now he's not. Okay, let's do this the right way this time. It was really a stupid mistake last time, too. Hurry up, open the door! ran the wrong way. Yeah, that is kind of strange now that I think about it. Because there was a spot at the end of disc or uh, day three or day four um, where if you do something wrong you get a cutscene showing you dying. Okay, so do not try to go back up. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. This thing's really going to start charging at me full speed. Oh, maybe not yet. Oh yeah, there it is. Run. Okay, now we made it. Ugh. Oh, all the army mans blew up. Alright, what t-shirt contest? I mean, I, I, I hope she's okay. Look at Daniel. Yeah, I'm so cool that my mustache didn't set on fire. <laughs> Invincible mustache. Well, 
Look at that cop striking that pose in the background. Actually, all the cops are like frozen in the background. Ah, the sun's coming up. Cool. Oh yeah, now we get this cool ending bit. Okay, I'm gonna nitpick again how they get this theater back in shape in just a week after what happened. Actually, I wasn't paying attention. Did they flash the data on the screen? Or say, like, three weeks later? <laughs> Smells like barbecued human. Or as Dracula would say, barbecued humans. Oh, I'm sure you're really upset that they're late. Speaking of death, I was listening to them earlier today. Some live album I found on Google Play. Cool, now we can all watch I Want to Be Your Canary. Featuring Tantalus. Actually, I think this is automatic. I can't uh, advance the text, yeah. Father! 
if you are sensitive to Ebra, Ebra, I messed that up. <laughs> yeah, sit down. She's going to start singing Cradle of Filth songs. Such great FMVs on this game. Okay, if I was an opera singer and I looked out and saw that, I'd be fucking shitting my pants. Alright, and that looks like the end of the main game, at least, for Parasite Eve. Um, next week, I'm not going to do any streaming. I'm going to take the week off, because I have a review I'm working on for the 13th, and I hopefully can get that done, um, you know, next week. Um, and I'm going to be trying out that YouTube premiere thing, because I always schedule my content anyways, so I might as well try it out um but yeah um we'll come back um not this coming week but the next week um i'm gonna try to come back tuesday morning and i think i'll be streaming descent on playstation one i know terry 309 has wanted me to play that for a while um and then i think uh the day after that wednesday night i'm gonna try to do uh deception um not a full playthrough just like some of the game um and i'm actually going to try to stick to a schedule um, i'm going to try to do tuesday morning and wednesday night for streaming um it can it can change though if i have to work or something but um we're going to try that and see how it works out yeah <laughs> oh yeah i forgot she's in a desert in the next game yeah, that was weird. I watched uh, StuTube, a channel I watched stream here uh, quite a bit. I watched him play that, and it, it just did not look that good. Although I'm not a big fan of survival horror anyway, so I may be the wrong audience for that, but, you know... Okay, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to say. Oh, um, yeah, after that week where we do Descent and Deception, um, uh, the, the week after that we're going to do the uh, EX game of this Parasite Eve. We're going to do the Chrysler building. Uh, should take probably two, two or three weeks to get through the Chrysler building. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Desensception. 
I, I would use that, but I'm, I've already decided that I'm gonna title my stream uh, Descent is Decent. But I kinda like Descentception. But yeah, we got a few more credits to go through here, and then um, it should kick back to the title screen. Oh yeah, I have to save my game too. So I can save, uh, you know, my boobs armor. And, uh, and the Slayer gun. That was actually the second RPG I've beaten on stream now. Much shorter than the other one I did, Xenogears. I have an idea for the next RPG I want to stream besides the two I have, um, the two that I have running that I've kind of uh, forgotten about. Because I do need to finish uh, Jeanne d'Arc and uh, Tengai Makio on the Saturn, I, and I will get back to those. Um, but I have an idea for another RPG I want to stream, so I have to figure out how I want to do that. Yeah, it's really long. I mean, what did I do, like 27 videos or something for that? 28? And this one for the main game was only 7 videos. Hey Simon. Oh. You gotta move, Simon. Yeah, and I think after I complete the Chrysler building... Oh, late December? Um, I think after I beat the Chrysler building on this, I might actually put my PS3 away for a while. Just because I want to play some other systems that I don't, or that I haven't for a while. Or stream some other things that I haven't for a while. We'll see. Oh yes, Yoko Shimamura. Shimamura. Who sadly only gets credited for Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy XV when, you know, people should be praising her more for this game and Radiant Historia. What well, I'm sure those soundtracks are great, but in my opinion, those are better games. Uh, this game and Radiant Historia, <laughs> Action Fifty Two. Um. I might be able to do that. I have it on the Raspberry Pi. I don't know if I've ever tried booting it up. So I don't even know if the ROM works. Ironically, I was just watching the ABGN review of that yesterday. I always laugh at that one bit where he's like, Hmm, I have two days left and I have a lot of games to program and I need an enemy. Hmm, safety pin. Oh, it is really good. I remember seeing that it had like standby me in it, which was weird. 
But I think they actually, when you stream it, I think they actually, like, censor that song or remove it or substitute it or something. Which was cool that they do that. You know, to avoid a copyright strike. Ooh, let's see how many bonus points I got. 3,000, not bad. And if I remember correctly, my levels do not carry over. Um, and my, my speed and the inventory slots don't carry over. But, like... All the points I've put into my gun and armor, those stay on it, and those will carry over. Oh, okay. Yeah, I might get that game eventually, I don't know. Like, I hear good things about it, but then I look at it, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. Insert disc one. Let's just, uh, insert disc one real quick. Oh, I'm sure it's way better than 13. Okay, we can skip that. We saw it before. So now when I hit start... EX game. Yeah, so I can hit that, start it up, and I'll get uh, everything that I stored with Wayne I'll get back, and our weapons that we renamed I'll get back. Yeah, they do look like a boy band. I've heard there's like different outfits you can get on them. Because that's one of the things that really bothers me about it, is they're all, like, dressed in black. And it's just, like, so bland. Okay, yeah, but we're not going to watch this whole intro thing here. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this one. So, uh, thank you guys very much for hanging out. Um, like I said, I will take next week off and I'll be back the following Tuesday morning. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later.